Welcome back. The New York City LGBT Historic Sites Project is a pioneering cultural heritage initiative and educational resource dedicated to documenting and illuminating the historic sites associated with the vibrant LGBT community in New York City. Its website features significant places important to LGBT history and illustrates the community's influence on New York City and American culture. Joining us now to tell us more is the project manager of New York City LGBT Historic Sites Project, Amanda Davis. Amanda, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So just to start off, can you tell us a little bit more about the New York City LGBT Historic Sites Project and its objectives? Sure. We've been around since 2015. We're a group of historic preservationists. And um, we tell the stories and histories of LGBTQ New Yorkers through the buildings and uh, landscapes that we walk past every day. We wanted to really illuminate this history, not only showing um, LGBTQ specific history like activism, but also showing how the community has made an important impact uh, over decades and decades and decades uh, in American history and culture. Yeah, of course. And with that, how does the project document and present historic sites connected to the LGBT community here in New York City? Well, we do it in many different ways. We use a lot of different resources and archives, and we present that on our website. Uh, that's our uh, public, most public-facing element of our project. And um, people can click on pins on the map of all five boroughs of New York City um, and click on a pin of a building or a site and learn more about that LGBTQ history um, and, and just explore further. We have multimedia, archival images. It's a really great way to, re to connect with this history in a, in a more a tangible scale. Yeah, you know, and on the website, there's an interactive map on the project's website. So can you tell me a little bit more about the significance of that? Well, we really wanted to, um, as historic preservationists, as a kind of place-based nerds, as we call ourselves, wanted to really get people to think about history as happening in the places we walk past every day. And we wanted to get a sense of where that history is happening. It could be in a neighborhood where they live or where they work or where they went to school or where they grew up. And um, it's important for us to be able to map that. And we've had all wonderful kinds of responses from people going on jogs from site to site, bike riding, um, just being able to explore their own neighborhoods. It's a really great way to connect New Yorkers to the history that they walk past every day. That's so fun. And, That's so, fun. and so with that, um, why exactly is it important to broaden people's knowledge on some of the history beyond the stone wall um, and just geographical context? Well, I think as with many things, representation is important, and that includes how we see ourselves in history. And the LGBTQ community has for a very long time been erased from history, as with other marginalized communities. And that has a negative impact on how someone thinks of themselves, how uh, other people think of uh, marginalized groups. So it's really empowering to be able to tell these stories, to read these stories, see yourself reflected in history. Absolutely. And so what types of programs and events does the New York City LGBT Historic Sites Project offer during Pride Month? Pride Month, we're very busy with walking tours, and uh, we have some of those happening next week. And uh, in the Bronx, we are doing our annual uh, Woodlawn Cemetery Trolley Tour. It's always a really popular event. In fact, the first tour that we're doing on Saturday, June 24th, at 12 noon has already sold out. So the cemetery has added a second tour at 2 p.m. that day on the 24th. And uh, we would love it if you came out. It's a wonderful day. We plant uh, rainbow flags at the, at the graves of uh, LGBTQ notables. And it's always just a very moving experience. And so when they go on this trolley tour, what can people expect? So it's uh, led by uh, us in partnership with the cemetery. We stop at grave sites like um, County Cullen, who is one of the leading figures of the Harlem Renaissance and uh, a poet, um, illustrator J.C. Leyendecker, who uh, was known for his illustrations in the Saturday Evening Post and the Arrow Collar Man, uh, George Platt Lyons, is a really important photographer, early suffragist, um, and just 
just a number of different people that were important to New York City and American history. We tell their stories, and then uh, someone in the group uh, can place that uh, pride flag in, in next to the grave site. That's great. And speaking of all the events coming up, can you give us a brief overview of the Queering Broadway 120-year legacy of LGBT performers and creators event? Yes, so that one happened last week, but it was a Zoom event, and it'll be available on our YouTube channel. And uh, as with the many other uh, Zoom recordings uh, that we've done, it just shows the incredible contributions that LGBTQ people have made to the Broadway theater industry since its birth over 100 years ago. And to recognize that history is, during Pride Month is important, but throughout the year, I mean, without the LGBT community, the Broadway theater uh, history is a, is a very different history. It, it would not exist. Oh, my God, of course. And, I mean, I think that was also shown just um, at this year's Tony Awards, you know, some of the actors that sure. were. Yeah, I think it was a very historic awards, not other than the fact that it was not scripted, but just with some of the winners and some mm -hmm. of the categories, I think that, and then during Pride Month as well, I think that was just a really historic moment. So Exactly. Right. So also, you know, I want to hear a little bit about what are the future plans and goals of the New York City LGBT Historic Sites Project? Well, we're continuously adding more and more sites to our website. We have almost 450 historic sites. We're always looking to expand, particularly in the boroughs outside Manhattan. Um, we have a consultant actually right now who is really interested in trying to be the history of the Bronx. And so if anyone is, who's listening has some ideas of, of where we could go there or other sites in the Bronx that you feel that we should include in our website, we would love to hear from you. Um, other than that, we are doing other collaborations with um, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, uh, connecting artists in their collection to historic sites on our website, uh, working with DOT to create bike tours um, that will be accessible on DOT's website. So just things like that, finding new ways to use our information to get this history out there and, and, and into people's uh, you know, phones or laptops, however they like to explore. Absolutely. And how do you envision the project evolving in the coming years to continue preserving and promoting LGBT history here in New York City? Well, we're always trying to capture more and more stories within the very large and diverse LGBTQ community. And that is why we have expanded um, working with consultants, try to capture, um, try to record um, sites um, in, say, Queens or Staten Island or the Bronx. Um, that we have not yet been able to document because we're such a small group. And a lot of this history is um, based on oral history, speaking to people, finding records that it may be difficult to find. So um, we're looking into those kinds of things um, in particular to really keep expanding and also to uh, nominate even more sites for LGBT significance to the National Register of Historic Places and more city landmarks that recognize the LGBTQ history. That's amazing. Amanda, I wanna thank you so much once again for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you so much for having us here and have sure. pride. Of course. For more information, you can visit the website at nyclgbtsites.org and follow them on social media at nyclgbtsites. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with more open after this.